And the beautiful thing is to be able to perform all of those pieces live with live music and with the musicians there. And I don't think it's very often nowadays that you see live music performed to dance. And that's such a key element to what we do. I began using live music very, very early on in my career. Um, I think the first piece I collaborate uh, with composer and using live music, that was uh, 1995, 1995. Um, so ever since that point, and each year we, you know, uh, you know, we receive funding, we apply for grants, and then we bring the live music in. Um, it's it can be challenging, you know, it can be challenging. Uh, it's because you're working with mo more than yourself, and then you have to discuss. There's a lot of discussion involved, and uh, the outcome is not 100% under your control. So you have to let go, you know. Um, but uh, it could be very rewarding as well, you know, sometimes when the collaboration works out well and the outcome is just like beyond your imagination. Also, when you use live music and use composer, uh, there's a deadline. You know, you're working under the deadline. Choreography need to keep going, take longer for dance to get to somewhere than uh, the musician to learn your score. You know, the score, I have to write a score, the musician need to learn the music, that all takes time. So there's a lot of timing issue you're dealing with and a lot of different deadlines that you have to consider. You, you get this piece of music, you feel, oh my God, this is totally different than what I had imagined in my mind. Uh, especially a lot of time, the music is not there yet. So you start to work with the dancers and you, you know, choreograph movement right there and the dancers have been using no sound at all in rehearsal and they do not know what to expect but we all have some kind of expectation okay this is uh, supposed to be kind of eerie sound and this may be supposed to be very soothing and a beautiful sound and then the composer may have a different idea and they will give you something totally reverse to what you're thinking and that's the point that what do you do you know I ask myself what do I do um, and communication happens, you talk to the composer, can you modify here and change here and there? And of course, sometimes they have very strong will too, you know, this is what I think about is supposed to be, then you have to compromise. And all the artists involved, they all feel that they have grown, you know, more out of the experience because of each other's um, inspiration.